Hey guys, Michelle from MomsvilleUSA.com and today I'm going to do a ham in the crock pot. It's one of my favorite recipes. We do it, um, I make it for the holidays and I also make it when uh, sometimes I have family over, especially in the winter and we've been skiing all day and it's just a wonderful thing to come home to. Here's what you're going to need and it's really just four ingredients. Okay, I have here, um, it's like a seven to eight pound pre-cooked ham from Costco or from wherever you want. I have um, brown sugar. In the past I've used dark brown sugar, but today I'm gonna try the golden brown. And I have um, pineapple juice and pineapples because um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough juice left when I open up the the pineapple, so I have just a can of pineapple juice on hand just in case. And then um, the best of all is the dark maple syrup. So um, pretty much that's all you need. All right, so the ham is in the crock pot. I like to use liners like, um, like Reynolds liners just because it makes cleanup a lot easier. And with the ham, what I did was I opened it up and I discarded the flavoring, the seasoning packet. You don't need it. So just put the ham in the crock pot. And the other thing that um, I wanted to share is, because I've been burned by this before, is make sure that you get the right size ham for your crock pot. And I'll just kind of give you an example here, because in the past, I'm not, you know, when I put the lid on, sometimes, you know, it was just too tall and it, and it didn't, and my, my ham didn't fit in my crock pot and I had to trim trim it down even before I cooked it. And it's just such a waste. So just, you know, when you're at the store, just eyeball it and, and just know that, you know, you need some lid room there. All right, now let's top this ham. So I have one cup of sugar. And like I said, in the past I've used dark brown, um, but today I'm gonna use golden brown and that should be fine. And then I also have a cup, I have, sorry, half a cup of maple syrup and I'm talking maple syrup the real stuff you don't want the fake stuff not not when you're doing the ham but the real syrup and I can tell you um, you can definitely taste a difference okay so I'm gonna pour <laughs> the sugar all over the ham and you're gonna you know rub it in just rub it everywhere all over the ham make sure you get it underneath you want it underneath the ham, all sides, especially on the bottom. Oh, so, but honestly, I, I don't need a lot of pork, but this is one of my, this is one of my favorites. Okay. All right. And then, after that, we're going to pour, okay, so after that, we're going to pour the half a cup of maple syrup all over the ham ooey goodness right there. Next, I'm going to pour a cup of pineapple juice over it. Just like that. There we go. And I'm also going to add a little bit of pineapple to it because um, I just found in years past that it just, it's just nice to have that extra. So this time I'm gonna be using crushed pineapple, but I've used pineapple chunks, I've used pineapple rings. It's really whatever you choose to do. All right, so now I just put the lid on it and I'm gonna cook it for uh, six to eight hours on low, or in my case, I like to use the temperature gauge. So I'm gonna insert that into my, uh, into my ham and it should probably be about 140 degrees internal temperature or, you know, if you get six to eight hours on low, whatever your preference is. I have noticed that if I overcook it a little bit, I get some really dark pieces closer to the bone, but they're delicious and taste like candy. And it's just really as simple as that. And when it's done, uh, take it out, let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before you cut it up and you have yourself a delicious ham. All right, guys, make it a great one. Have a good day. Bye.